Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a lot later in the day than I expected, right? Hey, we, it's okay, don't mess up good for perfect. Don't mess up good for perfect. So we woke up a little bit late. Well, actually we had to get some sleep and sleep is super powerful for your health. A lot of people, 100%. a lot of people don't get enough sleep. And so we actually slept in and then we came to the gym a little bit later, uh, but we labeled this hopeful. Like I said, Steve, what should we talk about? Because I just you kind of felt, very I, well, no, I was feeling kind of, not very inspirational. There's the well, it's word. It's probably because you just got done doing a workout. I did. We so just I'm super proud dominated of a workout, but you I asked so my great. husband to help. What would be something we should chat about? And he said, hopeful. So what, what does that mean to you? So hope to me is something that it's all a matter of perspective, right? Like when you think about, when you think about life and when you wake up in the morning, you have two options. Right. You can go down the road of negativity or you can go down the road of positivity and being hopeful, being grateful. It's all a matter of perspective. Right. And so maybe you're tired from working out, but you did so great. So I would say be hopeful. Like you just did something that's truly amazing. It tested our AQ because usually we like to work out first thing in the morning. Right. But today it's been pivoted a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. That's so okay. I would say, can I give them a little action step? Yes, of what I, I would think love would be great? that. I think so we should do it. So every day, I would say it's so important to journal and to kind of just know where you're at in life, to be counting your blessings, to be looking at from a from a viewpoint of or a perspective of, am I being grateful or am I being negative? Am right. I sitting on the pity potty or am I actually looking for the joys in life? Right. So here would be the call to action. It would be something as simple as this. What I would do is take out a piece of paper and a pencil. You can do it right now. Or pull out your phone as soon as this is done. Right. And make a list of all of the things that you're grateful for. All of the things that bring you hope and joy and peace and all of these great emotions. Write them all down. And then on the other side of the list, what I would encourage you to That's do good, is think about all of the things that you've been wanting to do to be a blessing to somebody else. All of the things that you've wanted to do to bring hope, maybe bring some peace, maybe bring some joy into other people's lives. And what I would do is write all of those things down and don't get overwhelmed about maybe the amount of things that you could do for other people, but just take one thing, one thing. And today is a beautiful day. It's Friday. He's really so testing my arm. Hold on a second. Thing. <laughs> take one thing. Keep going, my arm. So we just did shoulders and arms, and my arms are on fire. I like I they're it. on fire. So take one thing. Okay, take one thing. <laughs> one thing on the hopeful list, and go bring hope or joy or yes. peace or be a blessing to somebody today. So that's what my encouragement would be for you. No, today. I love that. I'll give you a really quick story. Um, I'm gonna keep going for one second because our girls, actually, this is a really cool story. Our girls were at a pizza, at a place with a whole bunch of friends while we were at, a lead, at, at the event this last week. Excuse us. We were, at, we were at an event this last week and they went out for pizza with some friends and they were around a whole bunch of, there was seven or eight kids at this table. There was a mom sitting off to the other side with just her son and her son had some challenges. Uh, and he kept walking over and talking to our girls and they were trying to be polite and trying to understand him the best they could. Now, fast forward, you know, they left and, and uh, one of our friends that was watching our kids said they could see the mom was crying and crying on the other side, right? She was trying almost like she didn't know if her son would ever have what all those kids had, those friends, right? And so they all snuck back into the restaurant and they paid for their meal. Like that was giving that person hope, right? Or um, we were driving yesterday coming home from the pumpkin patch and there was a man standing on the side of the road. And this is really about not judging other people, right? And the girl said, Mom, do you have any cash? And it's easy to judge anybody that you look at or maybe even not be aware of what people are going through. And so they were so excited to give to this man outside the door. And so exactly what Steve said, like, don't judge people, right? Be more aware and bring hope to other people. So if you see somebody around you that needs something, if they pop into your mind, um, I would say this weekend, have some fun and bring hope to other people. Be thankful for what you have. Be aware of what's around you. And that's it. So my arms are getting really tired. Uh, we appreciate you guys. And maybe share some stories that you have that, that you've done or seen other people bring hope to others. So have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.